Hi there everyone, welcome back again to the Mac Essentials. If you like Chrome browser experience but do not want to use Google Chrome due to privacy concern, then Ula browser by Zoho might be worth checking out. It's a Chrome based browser, feels just like Google Chrome but claims to respect privacy more. So let's see how we can download and install Ula browser in our Mac. And here you can see I already have open browser. Now all we need to do here is we need to type Ula. So U L A A browser and let's hit enter and there we go guys here we can see this link so i'm gonna provide you this link so that you can directly reach to this page and here we can see the browser first and main focus which this browser is claiming to be more private secure and super fast and this browser is a product of a company named as zoho zoho also produce excellent online crm system and is a very old company now let's go down and see what else this browser offer again here we can see it talk about utmost protection while browsing the web and again here we can see the same privacy related concern they have explained and how they are protecting us from privacy another cool thing about this browser which i saw is a different different mode here we can see that comes with this browser which is work mode then developer mode and personal mode and there is a kids mode as well which i would say is really helpful because nowadays kids have access to internet as well as um, computer devices at is much earlier than it used to be so there should be some kind of checkpoint or safeguard that avoid kids to browse or visit those websites or pages that they should not okay so this browser promise a lot let's download it and I am not claiming or sure that whatever this browser is claiming is 100% true or not. And maybe whatever this browser have made a claim, it may not have all the features running perfectly. But let's say if you would like to give it a look, then in this way, uh, we can easily download it. I'm just waiting for the download to get completed. Okay, there is one more thing that I wanted to tell you that this browser is not only available for macOS but it is also available for Windows, Linux, Android and even for iOS. So that's really nice. Maybe it also comes with account features such that we can sync our data across. So now seems like we have successfully downloaded it. So let's open it by simply making double click on it. And now here we can see uh, this kind of window will pop up. All we need to do is we need to press left mouse button and simply drag it to application now after it will copy to our application folder now we can close it and even we can move this setup to trash now let's go here on the down then click on launchpad now look for ula browser and there we go so if you want to keep it in your dock all we need to do again is we can simply hold it and drag it to your dock and now you will always see it is available in your dock. Now let's run it for the first time. And it says that this app is downloaded from internet. Now what we need to do is we need to click on open. And there we go. So here we can see this is how it look. Um, I actually need to close this um, and let me again restart it. And there we go so here you can see how this browser look and since this browser is privacy focused so here we can see we have got this privacy report which talk about the tracker fake news gambling sensitive and adult social media malware and adware and others now let's go back and i really want to explore the different different modes this browser have and maybe i will set it as a default later on but first of all let's explore it more and let me type here Ula browser and here we can see it is using DuckDuckGo as search engine so that's again now it's a another step toward privacy because most of the time we see if we are using windows then we're going to see the Bing is default browser and if we are using Google Chrome you will see Google as a default browser but this browser comes with DuckDuckGo so that's really nice and apart from that I also want to see the different different mode it offer so here if I click on the right hand side on personal I can see there is a kid mode open session developer mode work and incognito 
and these modes are also available here so i guess it is totally up to us so from here we can easily change it so let's click on kids mode now seems like uh we need to create a password here so let me just quickly create this and now i'm gonna enter password and there we go so we required to enter a password and that password is used to prevent kids from exiting from this mode and let me actually see if i quit this browser and reopen again will this browser still be in kid mode okay so that's not the case i don't know why it was like this i mean kids are smart enough right i mean kids can simply um reopen this browser so let's say that's not the case then probably you can give it to your kids and let's see what kind of site i can open um let's try opening youtube and i'm gonna simply search it here in duckduckgo now let's select youtube and seems like i can open it now since i am in kids mode let's see if i can open a trailer of let's say resident evil okay so let's click on it and seems like it is working so i don't know what kind of kid mode it is but uh, for sure i guess it's going to block your kids to explore certain sites and here actually we can also see what are the sites uh, your kids have opened now let me click on no more because i really want to know more of what actually inside in kid mode so here yeah, if we read uh, kid mode is trailer made to provide safe and fun browsing experience children and it comes with a feature such as parental control and child lock to block inappropriate content and website online and seems like the way parental control work is we need to go to preferences and then we can add a certain website to the url such that the kids cannot open it and for that uh, i guess we can go here in history and preference and here maybe we can put those and the reason why i can't see any setting because still i am in kid mode so let me click here on kid mode and now here i need to enter my password so only parents knew it kids didn't knew it let's click here on the right hand side and go here in preferences and now let's click here on kids mode setting and then here we can add url that we do not want kid to visit for example youtube.com and let's click on add now if i go from personal to kid again i'm gonna enter my password let's click on login and now let me try to open youtube and here we can see it says that youtube.com is blocked so in this way guys this kid mode will work and if you are still able to open your website i would recommend you to restart your browser or maybe your system and then just like kid mode we have got many other modes for example developer mode which will provide you developer extension for example you can have json viewer wizbug web developer css viewer and daily dev dev so basically it is offering you to install these extension and if you want to you can install these extension so in a similar way here we can see not only we have got kids and developer but work mode incognito and personal as well so really i would say in terms of features or the way this browser is planned it is really a good start you can give this browser a try as this browser is completely free and that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to the mac essentials and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye